Okay, continuing our discussion of angles. And I bet when you think angles, there's a particular number that's just close in the back of your mind, named the number 360. It might even be written 360 with a little circle above, meaning degrees. So we actually associate the number 360 degrees in thinking about angles. So what is this number 360? Well, we like to say that one full turn corresponds to 360 degrees of turning. So we call this one full turn. Which to me now begs the question, 360? Who chose the number 360 for one full turn? Why that number? If you had to just think of a number out of the blue, would you naturally come up with 360? That's actually awfully strange. So I should talk about who chose that number 360 and why did they choose that number 360 for one full turn? So we'll do that in the next lesson. But for now, if this is what society wants to do, 360 degrees is one full turn, then I have to say that half a turn, half a turn, would have to be the measure of half of the 360 degrees, namely 180 degrees. Or if I gave you, say, 45 degrees and asked you how, what fraction of a turn is that, you have to say, oh, 45 in mental arithmetic is 1 8th of 360. This is 1 8th of a turn. And if I asked for 2 thirds of a turn, uh-oh, so 1 third of 360 is 120, so 2 thirds of a turn must be 240 degrees. And if someone said, please turn through an angle of 3,600 degrees, actually twirl around, which I'm not going to do, you'll be doing 10 full turns. 10 full turns. So there we are. So people tend to not speak about fractions of turns, though I actually, my brain, I like thinking fractions of turns. That seems much more intuitive and much more natural, but they tend to go with the numbers instead. It's all good. It's fine. All right. But what I really want to show you today, because there's something deeply mysterious about three particular angles, for sure. People have noticed this over the millennium. Take a triangle, draw any old triangle. I'm going to draw this fabulous triangle here. Oops. Okay, lines are meant to be straight. And there are definitely three angles to, of note in this triangle. Namely, there's an angle here, there's an angle here, and there's an angle here. And this is what people noticed that's deeply surprising about those three angles. In fact, I'll show it with my marker. I'm going to apply this amount of turning, and this amount of turning, and this amount of turning to this marker, and we'll see what happens. Here goes. So I'm going to start the marker here. Just I'll mark the direction that's first pointing, so we've got it on record. The marker is starting this way. I'm going to apply this amount of turning. Zoom. Great. That marker has now undergone that amount of turning. Now I'm going to slide the marker along the straight edge. No worries there. Great. Now I'm going to apply this amount of turning to the marker. So it's had that amount of turning. Now I'm going to add to it this amount of turning. Great. That marker has now undergone those two amounts of turning. Now let's slide the marker on the edge. Now, there's no worry with there, I'm not changing direction, because now I'm all set to apply this third amount of turning to the marker. Here goes. Now, if this line was straight, I'm going to bring it back down for comparison, and look what's happened to the marker. The marker started this way, and it ended up that way. Those three turns amounted to turning that marker half a turn, 180 degrees. That marker went through half a turn. Zoom. 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 Half a turn. Three angles in that particular triangle add up to half a turn. In fact, let me do it again. Let me do it for another triangle. Let me clean the board. You can watch me clean the board with my marker. and probably the uh, well, wiper. Probably smudgy. Hope there's no, not too many specks. Let's draw another triangle. Let's draw like a skinny, fat triangle. Uh, I don't know, something like this. All right. Yes, there are three angles in that triangle. One, two, three because I should give them slightly different markings. Let me uh, now apply uh, each of this, this amount of turning to, each of, to this marker, this amount of turning to the marker, that amount of turning to the marker, and add up all three results. Just have it on record, I'm starting the marker that way. All right, first amount of turning, zoom. Move it along, slide, slide, not changing direction. Second amount of turning, zoom. Okay, fine, it's gone, undergone that amount of turning plus that amount of turning, sliding, not changing direction, because I'm now set to apply this third amount of turning. Zoom. And look, again, that marker underwent half a turn. Now, you might have an objection, because look, I turned the marker here at the base of the marker, and then I turned the marker here at the tip of the marker. You might think that's strange. It's actually okay, because last lecture, we actually did this. If I extended these sides and made them like a pair of crossing lines, I could actually apply this amount of turning, come here, 
go a little bit further and apply this amount of turning instead. Still its base, and then still its base, and then you would argue this angle plus this angle plus this angle adds up to 180 degrees. But last lecture, we did actually prove this angle is the same amount of turning as that angle. So if I want to stay base of the marker, base of the marker, base of the marker, half a turn, I'm good. But of course, doing what I did before is actually equivalent, since those two angles are the same amount of turning, and we're fine, half a turn. Now, here's the thing. It looks like we are seeing that the three angles inside a triangle are always going to add up to half a turn, 180 degrees. I did it for two specific triangles right now, but I can see in my mind's eye. If I did a third triangle on this board, I can see the same thing is going to happen. If I did a really big triangle on this board, say the size of a football field, if this board was big enough, I can see in my mind's eye the same thing will happen. In fact, I can see in my mind's eye the marker is always going to tell me the three angles on a triangle, no matter which triangle it is, are going to add up to half a turn, 180 degrees. So we've just seen the power of our pencil, power of the marker, that we just got the three angles on a triangle are sure to add up to 180 degrees, half a turn. Wow. Actually, let's go further. Let's go beyond triangles. So let me clean the board and let's go, I don't know, to quadrilaterals and other weird shapes. Back in a moment. All right, board is clean, and I've just summarized our result. The three interior angles, the three inside angles of a triangle always seem to add up to half a turn, 180 degrees. So of course, the natural next question is, what about four-sided shapes? So let me draw a four-sided shape. Let's try this one. It's got four angles. I'll just put dots in them so I can see them. There's four inside angles of this quadrilateral. What do those four angle measures add up to? All right, power of the pencil, here goes. I'm gonna place the pencil here and I'm gonna apply each amount of turning to that pencil. And just so it's on the record, there is the starting position of the marker. All right, apply the first amount of turning, zoom. Slide, not changing direction, all is good. Apply the second amount of turning, zoom. Okay, so far so good. Sliding, not changing direction. Apply the third amount of turning, zoom. Grand, slide along, apply the fourth amount of turning, zoom and slide the marker back, and it looks like it's back to where it started. Yeah? So was that one full turn? Let's double check. Zoom, slide, zoom, slide, zoom, slide, zoom, slide. One full turn. It looks like the four angles in the quadrilateral, or at least this one, add up to one full turn, 360 degrees. But I'm a little bit nervous because that was too nice a quadrilateral. What if I did a weirder one? For example, here's a strange quadrilateral. All right, here it comes. Looks like this. Zoom, 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 zoom. Ha-ha! This one now looks a little trickier. So what if the result's still true? Do the four interior angles, the four inside angles, still add up to 360 degrees? Well, first of all, actually, where are the four inside angles? I mean, clearly there's an angle here. Great. Clearly there's an angle there, there's an angle there. So what's the inside angle for this part of the picture? Well, it's not that part, it's actually this part. So there are my four inside angles. So I'm wondering if those four angles also add up to one full turn, 360 degrees. Let's find out. Let's use the power of the pencil. Here it goes. I'm going to start my pencil this way, so just so you can see it. That's the starting position. Apply the first amount of turning. Zoom. Slide, not change the directions. Apply the second amount of turning and making sure the pencil stays on the inside. On the inside, there it goes, I'm on the inside. Excellent, I want the inside angle so the marker stays on the inside. Great. Um, oh, I've missed my sound effect. There we go. Slide, not changing direction. Apply this third amount of turning. Slide, not changing direction. Apply the fourth amount of turning. And back to start so I can compare and I see it's back to the same starting position, having undergone one full turn, 360 degrees. So it looks like the angles in a four-sided shape add up to 360 degrees, one full turn. This is great. Let's get crazy. Let's do, I don't know, an 11-sided shape. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, I'll do it in pink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There, yeah, how's that? <laughs> All right, I think I did 11 sides, and the angles, I'll just mark them with dots so I can see that, well, maybe I'll do little curly bits, because I think I want the inside angle there, the inside angle there, 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 there. That's the inside angle, that's the inside angle, that's the inside angle, that's the inside angle. And I think that's 11 angles, am I right? 11 angles, yep. Yeah. All right, if I put a marker and apply each of those amounts of turning to the marker, what do these 
11 angles add up to? What's the total amount of turning that we get in, on the market? All right, so let me just mark the starting positions. I have a feeling this one is going to be complicated. In fact, I'm gonna get a second mark in my hand because I've got an idea already, but here goes. All right, apply the first amount of turning. Zoom. All right, apply the second amount of turning. Zoom. Uh, all right, I have not gone one full turn yet because I've, what I think is going to happen when I apply the third amount of turning, so I start turning through this angle, right there is interesting, I'm back at one full turn, so I've got one full turn already. But I'm going to keep going, market keeps going through that angle, then we slide to this angle, apply this amount of turning, uh, keep going, sliding, not changing direction, apply this amount of turning, and this spot right there is interesting, so that's a second full turn, second full turn. Keep going though, zoom. okay, apply this angle up here, zoom. apply this angle up here, zoom. apply this angle here, will I go through a third full turn? I think I will, ding, 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 right there is a third full turn. Keep going, zoom. keep going, will I go through another full turn? I think so, ding, 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 right there is the next turn, full turn. And then I'll keep going though, whoops, and then my mark is right there in this corner, apply this amount of turning, zoom. apply this amount of turning, zoom. And back to the beginning, aha, uh -huh. plus half a turn. So it looks like these four angles are adding up to four and a half full turns. Wow. So now, now, I am wondering if we start developing a general theory. If the angles in a triangle add up to half a turn, and the angles in a four-sided shape add up to one full turn, and the angles in an 11-sided shape add up to four and a half full turns, can you find a general formula for what the angles of an n-sided shape should add up to? Is there a formula to be had? Great stuff, great stuff. Um, let me keep going. I've been doing inside angles, but let me do some outside angles right now. So I need to clean the board yet again, and I'll be right back. All right, here's a five-sided shape. And you can probably do the pencil pushing and see that the five angles inside this pentagon actually add up to one and a half full turns. Give it a try. But let me now talk about the outside angles. Now, by the outside ones, I could do the full outside, but really it's gonna be just the full 360, take away this angle here. It's kind of already related. What people have noticed is much more interesting to actually take the side length and make it go a little bit longer. Take each side length, make it go a little bit longer. A little bit longer, a little bit longer, and a little bit longer. Then you get five angles like this. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Because in that playing, if you just think to do that, just by playing, you'll notice something remarkable about those angles I've marked in blue. Let's do it. I'm going to apply each amount of turning of the blue angles to this marker. So I'm starting here, zoom. And here goes, oh, wrong sound effect, wrong time. Now I go, zoom. Okay, apply that amount of turning. Zoom, 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 apply that amount of turning. And I'm back to start. I think that was one full turn. In fact, if you trace the mark on the outside of this polygon, you can see it's going to do one full turn. In fact, in your mind's eye, if I give you a more complicated polygon, you can actually see the marker is just basically going to go through one full turn. It looks like these particular exterior angles, this version of them, always add up to one full turn. The power of a pencil, this is remarkable. In fact, I love this picture because later on, I'm gonna make good use of this fact about these particular angles when we start playing with bicycles. All right, good stuff coming up. Love the power of the, of the pencil. I'm gonna leave you with one puzzle, but I need to clean the board again. Be right back. Okay, a puzzle for you. Here is just a randomly drawn, very lopsided five-pointed star. I'm wondering if you can use the pencil to say something remarkable about these five particular angles, the angles of the points on a five-pointed star. Does the pencil tell you something interesting about those angles? Draw a star, draw it, get out a pencil, give it a try, push that pencil, good stuff. See you next lecture.